What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Forza 5 video. Now in this video, what I'm going to be doing is doing a full build on this 2012 Nissan GTR Black Edition. Now we're going to be going for full out maximum power, maximum speed, um, trying to turn this thing into basically a straight line monster. And obviously, you know, we could do a drift build of it in the future, but for now, I'm going to make this thing the basically the best uh, straight line monster that it can possibly be so I'm gonna just go ahead and pick one of the colors and not gonna make it carbon black um, I'm thinking we'll start out with white and then go from there um, go ahead and buy it and yeah we'll start with white and then we'll pay a visit to the paint shop a little later to see what we can do with it but we're gonna be doing like I said before a full build on this thing just to see how fast and how powerful we can make it now, no engine swaps or anything like that. No drivetrain swaps. Um, obviously, just keeping the engine, Just but we're going to fully build that, that specific engine, that specific twin-turbo V6. So go ahead and upgrade it. And let's see. Go ahead and go straight to... Hmm. Not sure, actually. Let's actually go to arrow and appearance and see if we can lose any weight on the car. Um, that just adds weight. This spoiler probably just adds weight too. Yeah, it does. So there's no way we're going to lose any weight that way. Um, tires and rims. We definitely want uh, race tires. Definitely, definitely want race tires. And actually, what we could do is... Um, since this is basically just for straight line stuff, we could actually stick drag tires on this thing. We could. We very well could stick drag tires on this thing. So... It doesn't affect the weight, but, I mean, the only thing it really does affect is... It's going to affect our launch, but that's... Well, not our, not even our launch. It's going to affect, um... Actually, no, it does affect our launch. I just wanted to see if it did in the in the thing. It does affect our launch. So I'm going to go ahead and stick drag tires on there. And from there, going to bump up the width all the way. And both the rear and the front... Go ahead and get that and upgrade it. Alright, now, as far as rims go, I think I remember which rims are the lightest, and I think I remember where they are, um, but I'll have to try and find them again. I'll have to find them again. I mean, I know they were the lightest in Forza 4. I don't know if that's the same here, but, um... Let's see. Looking for the... Looking for TSWs. Because I remember the TSW... I think they were the TSW Track Stars. Were the lightest back in Forza 4, so... And these Dimag 9 spokes are really light as well. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and go with the Dimag 9 spokes. They're, I mean... They're really, really light, and they take off plenty of weight anyway, so we can go with those. And from there, um... I'm not gonna upgrade the width, um, for the drivetrain. We're gonna max this thing out. Now, definitely need the race transmission, because that takes off weight and reduces shift times. Also going for, um, race diff... So, I mean, the race diff is a tiny bit heavier, but, or at least I think it's a tiny bit heavier, but it does give us a little bit, a uh, little bit more control. Now, for the platform and the handling, um, definitely want race brakes, because they're a lot lighter. And we also want to drop this thing all the way. Yes, that looks sweet. Dropped all the way on race springs, that looks awesome. Now... Okay, so the anti-roll bars, the race ones are lighter, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Anything that we can do to make this thing lighter, we're doing. And obviously, we're going to do a full race weight reduction. So we're down to what now? Uh, where's the weight? Where can we actually see? That's ah, gone. It's pretty much gone now, so we can... I'll just have to look. I'll have to look at it later, so... And I don't know where you'd be able to see it other than the up um, upgrade screen, so... We're going to max out the power, absolutely everything. Okay, wait, we now, actually, let me just go ahead and, okay, so we weigh, um, so the previous, we weigh right now 3,188 pounds. Now, that's going to go up a little bit over the course of, um, of installing these engine parts, but it shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be that much of an increase. In fact, it might actually go down a little bit. Power-wise, we're actually, yeah, we're almost at 600 horsepower now. This exhaust should crank that. Yeah, we're like a one horsepower under 600. One. One horsepower. I wonder what it, this thing maxes out at, though. 
663 horsepower. 688 horsepower. And that's bored out to 4.1 liters now. Let's see. 705 horsepower. And our weight is actually going down, which is awesome. Get these race turbos in there. That's 884 horsepower. Um, it brought up the weight a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, 722 pounds-feet of torque. And let's see. We also want a new intercooler. Which is going to bring it up to 911 horsepower. And all we have left that we can do is the oil and cooling, which brings us to 919 horsepower. And the, the race, well, putting her in a race flywheel, which is only going to make us a little bit lighter. Um, it's not going to do anything for the power, but it's going to make it a little bit lighter anyway. Um, let me actually just see. Yeah, just a little bit of a difference. And now we're going to go ahead and tune the car. Now, for top speed tuning, we're obviously, since it's a top speed car, we're going to be increasing the final drive. So, let's see. Top speed right now, according to the dyno, is 219. So, let's bring it down a little bit and then have it reanalyze. 238. Let's bring it down a little bit more. 265. Bring it down just a little bit more. 272. Oh, my God. 276. 208, what? The, it said, the dyno is saying 286 miles an hour. I don't think that's accurate. We'll have to see. Okay, 286.6. Let me go a little bit lower and just see if that stays. 287.2. Two hundred eighty-seven point nine. Let's see if we can get it to. Okay, that's two hundred eighty-eight point one. Let's test that. Let's apply this and test it and see if that thing is actually telling us the truth. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the old Le Mans circuit. The well, the Le Mans circuit with the old Mulsanne straight and see um, see if this actually lives up to what the dyno is saying it can do. Because if it, if it does, then that's way faster than you could get in Forza 4. That is way faster, like, mind-blowingly fast. To be honest, I'm a little, like, I don't know if we have enough room to get up to, what, like, what the dyno said, 287 miles an hour. I don't know if we have enough room on this straight. Launches like a beast. Oh my god, that is fast. I mean, the acceleration isn't as good as it would be if we had tuned it for acceleration. But, I mean, even as it is, as it sits with this crazy low final drive, it's still amazing off the line. And it sounds crazy, too. You can hear that blow-off valve. It sounds amazing. I mean, I went off the track a little bit. Yeah, I know, but... Um, still an amazing sounding car. And what's up with the wheels? That is weird. They almost look like they're bouncing up and down. That is really odd. And I forgot to go to the paint shop. I don't know why. I completely forgot to go to the paint shop, but that's all right. That's all right, because the paint won't exactly make us any faster. But I'm, I will definitely go back to the paint shop, like, later on. I don't know if I'll do it in this video, but I'll do it, uh, definitely do it later on so I can get, you know, a really good looking paint job on this car. Let's go ahead and take this opportunity to accelerate out of the straight. Entry, I entered at about 140 in fourth gear. Already over 200 in fifth. Come on, 240. 250. Into sixth. I kind of redlined fifth a little bit. That was a bad run. 270, this actually might be true. It might actually work. Oh, come on, 200 and, come on, 280. 81. That was 281 miles an hour, and to be honest, the only way that that could have been different is if I didn't mess up the gear change from, from fifth to sixth. I'm gonna just go ahead and let the sand trap stop me. <laughs> And head back in the other direction. And just so I have an advantage, I'm going to actually come around. I'm going to go back around that corner a little bit. 
and then just try and get a rolling start into it so I can get that so I can get that little bit of an advantage. I think this is far enough back. I mean, we're not going to be able to take that corner with, you know, huge amounts of speed, so we can start back here and it'll be fine. We actually Oh god, that's I messed that side up. Let's do a hard launch and see how it looks from the outside. Wow. No drama whatsoever. It just goes. It just goes. Go ahead and get around this corner and floor it. And this time, I'm going to try not to mess up that gear change. Into fifth. Already, yeah, already pushing well over 200. I hate that corner. I hate that corner. I despise it. Oh, God. We are going a little bit faster already this time. This might end up being a better run. We're already over 270. That's 280, 281, 82, and we're going to have to break and that's a wall. Yeah, that's not gone well, but at least we did get to find out how fast it was. It went quite well, actually, better than I had, better than I had uh, assumed it would. If you guys enjoyed the video, though, and the build, um... You could definitely, uh, definitely go ahead and copy it if you guys want to, um, because that thing is crazy fast, and I definitely want to see if I can find other things that are faster, but so far, that's the fastest thing I've ever tested on Forza 5, so if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, leave me a like, and tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it, and I will see you guys later.